Hi guys, welcome back to another day in the life. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie. I'm a new graduate nurse. I did graduate back in December, 2022. And as of late, I have been studying for my NCLEX exam, which is scheduled for tomorrow. Tomorrow, March 8th, 8 a.m. I decided to have me a mental health day today and not overwhelm myself too much. For some reason, I have been feeling a bit anxious. <laughs> like I tried to start my day off right. I went to the gym. I was there for like an hour and a half. I got like a nice back workout in. I did some stretching, some recovery. I hit the sauna. So I definitely started my day off on the right foot. But then I started <laughs> reviewing my self-assessment from yesterday, which let's back up. I did take my self-assessment um, in UWorld yesterday, which was a little later than I had originally anticipated. In my last video, I did mention to you guys that I wanted to answer all of you world's 2000 plus questions by the latest March 4th so that I can take my assessment and have some time to like review my rationales and all that good stuff. But as I was answering my questions, I realized that I was just focusing on answering the questions as fast as possible, trying to get, you know, all of the questions in that I had planned for the day or whatever the case was. And I wasn't paying attention to the rationales as much as I would have liked to. And so I just felt like I wasn't really studying effectively. Um, so I kind of like Put a pause on everything and i stopped answering questions and just like went back to previous practice exams and just reviewed all of the rationales and tried to focus more on that rather than just like answering the questions especially since as i kept answering questions i realized that they were kind of asking the same things in different ways but kind of like the same disease processes or like the same age related questions or like diet or anything like that so it was just like i was getting to questions where i was like wait i I got that question before but I don't remember the rationale and so I realized that I wasn't really reading the rationales and understanding the rationales when I was answering the previous questions and so all of that to say I did not finish all of you world's questions because I was really just focusing on the rationales um, as I was answering questions so it did take me a little longer to finish the practice exams but I do feel like I got a bit more out of my studying that way so yeah i did take my self-assessment yesterday a lot to do with procrastination as well because i just kept like pushing it to the side and prolonging it and just like not taking the stupid assessment but all in all i feel pretty well about it i got an 80 which was like in the 97th percentile it said like very high chances of passing and so I feel good about that, but still, I was reviewing the test today and I just like felt the anxiety creeping in. Just like, what if I like trip myself up or I like start making mistakes or like, you know, just like all these what ifs, which is kind of weird. I'm usually not really an anxious test taker. Like I'm pretty good with tests when it comes to like anxiety levels and things like that, but I guess like no test has been as important as this one, <laughs> if I like think about it. And so I don't know, like this test, it's like everything's on the line. And so I don't know, I've been kind of feeling just like a little weird. I had like plans to like get some things done today. I wanted to get some laundry done. I wanted to make some food. I had some ground beef defrosting and just like i didn't get to anything i was just like really like just lounging around i was reviewing my test a little bit and um i did go to Publix to get a prescription so i did get out of the house and get some sun at least but yeah um didn't really do much and i don't think i'm gonna do much for the rest of the day i do have to be up early tomorrow i'm probably gonna leave here by like 6.30, I have to be in Deerfield, which is about 30 minutes from my house on a good day without traffic. 
and so I'm not sure how traffic is gonna be. My test is at eight. I do wanna get there early, of course, just to make sure that I like find parking and find where I'm going and you know not run into any obstacles. So probably like 6.30, I wanna leave here or 6.15, I don't know. <laughs> I get a little crazy sometimes. Um, but yeah, it is already like five o'clock. I am getting a little hungry. My boyfriend got his Publix subs earlier. I got a Publix wrap, actually. Um, and I have half of it in the fridge, so I think I'm gonna finish that. And just kind of like a chill, maybe do like a little reading or watch some Outer Banks, which I am on season three and I am obsessed and just kind of like get my mind off of things. I do want to get to bed early, but yeah, I did kind of want to just like get on here and chat with you guys a little bit and relieve some of my anxiety levels because it's getting real, you guys. I'm supposed to have an interview with my manager. It's like an informal interview on the 9th, which is Thursday, and I should have my scores. I should definitely have my scores by Thursday, so hopefully it's all good <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna eat this up and just like prep my things for tomorrow i'm not sure if i should take anything to eat like i usually don't eat that early and so i don't know maybe like pack some snacks and just like make sure my clothes are ready and all that good stuff It is exactly 7.01, March 8th, exam day. We got her early. Uh, traffic was not bad at all, actually, so I'm happy about that. We did leave the house at around 6.30. I was just like up and ready to go. My alarm clock was set for 4.40 and I was up at 4.26. Just like alert, ready to go. <laughs> so we did get some sprints in this morning. I kind of just wanted to get my blood pumping. Let me take this off. Um, and just like my mind right and ready to go. And I'm glad that we did because I feel good. A lot better than yesterday. <laughs> That's for sure. And so, yeah, we had a nice drive here. It did take about 30, like 33 minutes. And it was just me, my thoughts, and my coffee, which I still have a little bit left. We're gonna have a good morning. We're gonna have a good test. Cause we're RNs, we're thinking like RNs. We're gonna pass this test like RNs and, oh, I don't know, I gotta pee or poop. I don't know which one yet. <laughs> I hope I don't like start sweating. But yeah, when I tell you this parking lot is empty, like there's not one single car here except for mine. Just kidding, I see one like on the other side over there, but I hope that they're open because I kind of do have to use the bathroom. And they did say to be here about 30 minutes before test time and the exam starts at 8 a.m. And so I'll probably sit here for a little while longer, finish my coffee and then head inside. I'll probably leave my phone here because they like lock it up in like a plastic bag anyways and I won't have access to it. So I might as well just leave it in the car 
and just take my bag, which I ended up bringing this backpack because I do have my water bottle and I brought some Tylenol just in case and a banana. And I did boil some eggs this morning just because I wasn't going to bring anything at first, but I know myself and I, I usually don't get hungry so early, but like you never know especially because i did they get like a little workout in this morning i might get hungry and so i brought a banana and some eggs just in case so that i can just like scarf them down during a break if i do like get super hungry um but yeah i have an umbrella in here as well i don't think it's gonna rain um and then yeah we are ready to rock and roll you guys just wanted to say hi really quick give you guys an update I will most likely catch you guys once I'm out if I'm like mentally there because I'll probably be like a cross-eyed at that point. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to tell you guys all about it and tell you guys how I did. I hope that it's good news um, and that all of the studying paid off. So yeah, all right, <laughs> let's get in there. Some time later. Ah, you guys. I'm out. It is only 9.45. They did let me start like a little bit before 8. But it's only 9.45 and my test shut off at 75 questions. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I sound like a bird. I'm so excited. Um, I hope that that's a good thing. I know that it, that can also happen if like you're failing miserably, but I highly doubt that. I do feel good about the tests. Um, I felt like I was answering them, you know, correctly. I felt confident. There were a few that I was like, what is this? But instead of getting like all like flustered or anything, I just like kept telling myself, if the questions are getting harder, it's because you're passing and this is good. So I just kept doing <laughs> what I was doing. And when that test shut off at 75 questions, I was like, Oh my God. And then I took like 10 of those like practice questions that they give you at the end. And then they just kept going and I was like, all right, forget this. And I like asked the lady, I'm like, can I shut this off? I was like afraid to at first. She's like, no, yeah, that's optional. Just shut it off. I was like, okay. But yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was crazy. Um, so I'm going to do that little trick. Apparently when you go onto the Pierce Student View website and you try to re-register for the test, if it doesn't allow you to, it means that you passed. And if it does allow you to, then it means that you didn't pass. So I will wait like a couple hours probably and check that and see, you know, what it says. But I feel really good. I feel confident. I think that we did great. I think that we passed. And yeah, I didn't even have to eat any of my snacks. I didn't have to take any bathroom breaks, which thank God it shut off at 75 because I was like getting there. I'm like, oh, I really don't want to have to get up. Um, and so it worked out. But yeah, the check-in process was super quick, easy. They were super nice in there, very encouraging and motivating. Um, they do like lock up all of your devices, your phone, iWatches, all of that into like a plastic bag and then they like tie it. And so thank God I didn't like take anything. And they do give you lockers for like your bag or like water bottle or anything like that. But many people didn't have anything with them. Like they were just literally walking in with just like their wallets and their water bottles of anything, their keys. I was like the only one with the back, <laughs> but just in case, you never know. And it was a pretty small testing center. There were people there testing for other things. I overheard people like testing for insurance, um, the LPN exam and like other exams that I had like no idea what they were, but it was pretty small very intimate they do give you noise canceling headphones which was honestly the best thing i put those on and i was just like in the zone i didn't realize how silent it was until after i took them off i was like oh my god it was amazing it really like helped me focus and just like cancel out anything outside um but yeah all right i do have a 30 minute drive home i will probably go home and eat myself a proper breakfast even though I'm not even that hungry, I think it's just like <laughs> the adrenaline that has me all. Woo. But okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go now. My next video, I will be sharing with you if I passed, what I did to pass, or whatever the case may be then. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me, for hearing me out, for coming along with me through this process. You guys have no idea 
like how helpful you guys really are um even though i don't know you guys personally i read your comments i hear your thoughts your inputs and you guys are just so kind so awesome so uplifting and i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart so i love you please remember thoughts really do become things when you put in the work so never stop believing never stop working the real flux is when you stay solid when things get tough till next time